If I'm being honest, um, we probably all feel a little tired. Lady Liberty has been holding that torch for so long, and sometimes it feels like her hands and ours hang down. But over the course of this past year, we've learned some valuable lessons. With a global pandemic raging, we have learned that our people are smarter than we ever could have imagined. As scientists, chemists, and medical professionals developed and mastered new technologies to create multiple life-saving vaccines in record time. And yet, at a time when we have more knowledge at our fingertips than any generation in history, we have somehow become more susceptible to disinformation, conspiracy theories, and lies, as too often we all struggle to find accurate sources of truth and unbiased information. We have sadly realized that we are far more divided than at any time in our lifetimes as the news is filled with civil unrest and protest, including one right outside this venue today. Hateful rhetoric dominates our political discourse. We are facing a crisis of empathy, a scourge of contempt. Very little feels united about the United States today. Indeed, it appears that men's and women's hearts are failing them. Now, let me be clear. Conflict and passionate debate around ideas can and is healthy. But contempt and contention will rot the souls of our nation and her people. And this division isn't just ugly or unfortunate, it is dangerous. As one expert recently warned, there is a very good chance that in the next 30 years, we will have a catastrophic failure of our democracy. The reason? We just don't know, he observed what a democracy looks like when you drain all the trust out of the system. But there is good news. It's not too late to fix this. And Utah is the perfect place to make that happen. Judge Thomas Griffith has given us the formula. If the Constitution of the United States as we know it is to survive, he wrote, then we must inculcate the virtue of civic charity. We must seek to understand one another, to treat each other not as enemies but as friends, and to secure justice for all without demonizing and ostracizing those with whom we disagree. Indeed, this is the only way it has ever been done, and it is distinctly American. As another expert has noted, the heroes of America are heroes of unity. <laughs> 